Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Sagittarius. If Sagittarius is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. And so this is a bonus reading for Sagittarius and our card tonight is the Justice card. And this is from Tarot of the Abyss. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what these tea leaves have to say tonight. And if you have not subscribed, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. It's free to subscribe. I feel like I just said that. I just said I did a different reading. <laughs> I'm always like... Did I see that in this reading or the last one? All right. Okay, I want to start right here. So we have, it looks like the Empress. Okay, we have the head, we have the body, we kind of sitting on a, a throne, so enthroned, and um, sitting in, in judgment, really. Um, I feel that there is a energy of, of something going on in the household, or at least within the family. This is kind of, you know, house uh, house drama <laughs> or house matters. Um, but I feel like there, you are kind of in a role within the family, um, where maybe you're the head or maybe you're kind of the mediator or maybe you're kind of, um, you know, a, dis a decider of things. Um, and so, uh, you know, I feel like in this situation, maybe you are not directly involved in that you are part of the conflict, but something is going on, and um, I think that you're kind of the one with the level head here. You have kind of a, a an elevated perspective of things because you can see it in a kind of detached um, uh, position. Okay, you're you're not as like emotionally invested, although these are people you love, so there is some of that, right? There's no avoiding it. Um, but I do feel like you are going to be put in this position where um, you kind of have to help lead everybody through this thing, kind of coming up with ideas. How are we going to, um, you know, for instance, if it's like uh, getting um, things done within the family, like maybe they're maybe mom and dad, they need help. Right. And um there's a lot to do and there's enough people to do it, but nobody is kind of delegating what gets done, who's doing it, how it gets done, when it gets done, whatever. Um, so I feel like you could be like the person that comes in and is like, okay, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> we're making a schedule here um, and we're assigning tasks. And, um, and so, you know, I think that so often this is kind of the role that you take on in different parts of your life. You are um, somebody who uh, can remain calm and clear. And um, yeah, you maybe are feeling big feelings, but you're good at letting that remain in the background until you can look at it. You know, you get done with the thing and then you go and you feel your feelings. So I think that this is definitely kind of, it makes sense that you would be in this, this position. You maybe are elected in, into the position. Um, maybe you're the oldest or, uh, you know, just the most together or whatever it is. Um, but I think it will be helpful, you know, whatever, whatever is going on. Okay. Um, and then be, and I'm going to take a drink, my my throat. This is my last reading of the night. My throat is 
<laughs> getting shot here. Um, below this house right here, uh, the roof anyways, we have a square. We also have another square. So I do feel like there is a sense of things getting sorted out. It is going to all come together. I think that whatever it is is going to get done. And, um, and I think it won't be as dramatic as... Oh, as everybody kind of <laughs> was kind of ramping up for it to be. Um, and I'm seeing right here, it says, it looks like it's an H-E-R-E. -E. Maybe it says here or her. It could be her. And then in this, like this, it looks like we have an owl. Maybe two owls, actually. Here's one. You can see the eyes and the nose, and here's the head and the body. Um, and then we have one right here as well. Um, so I feel like it's almost kind of like keep your um, eyes here. Look here. Um, you're going to know because you'll see. Uh, you, this is a kind of a posture of being the witness. And I think this is in line with your ability to have kind of that elevated, uh, perspective because you look at all parts. You're, you're, you're good at sitting back, not getting super involved in the thing and watching how things play out. Okay. Um, and you can see how it affects each person. You can kind of see the motivations and, um, realistically, why is this happening? What is this? How, you know, what does it mean? What, <laughs> what is the most likely, um, thing? And so, you know, I almost could imagine you're like a, like a detective. You could be a good, like PI, maybe, um, private investigator, and, um, I wouldn't even be surprised if you're like somebody who watches like detective shows or like true crime and you're really good at figuring out what happened way before they say, um, you're just very, um, kind of keyed in on the goings on. You notice, you notice these things. Now I'm looking at this and it says L E O. So we have a Leo. So we have a Leo person, I imagine. You can hear the cats over there chewing. So I almost wonder if you have a Leo person, like a in an old relationship, or maybe like a lover. Because we have we have a mermaid, like a siren, siren. Um, we have a person up here that has maybe like a short haircut, eyes, a little goatee or beard. Uh, we have two people here. Okay. One looks like they're kind of moving this way towards the past. Uh, this person's kind of standing in a fixed state. And <laughs> this one looks like it says EW, just EW. So... I kind of almost wonder if this is somebody from the past, like showing up, um, you're thinking about them and it is kind of that you factor. Maybe you're like experiencing them in some way you've run into them or you're hearing about them or you're seeing them online or whatever it is. Um, And I almost feel like there's, <laughs> I always think of the scene, um, in Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula, that kind of cheesy one from the nineties, um, with Gary Oldman and one owner writer. <laughs> um, but there's the scene where he's like the, the wolf or whatever. He's like the werewolf thing. And, um, he, and she goes out to the garden, Mina or whatever. She goes out to the garden and he's like, you know. I guess, feeding or whatever with her girlfriend and, um, and other things or whatever. Um, but he says, don't, don't see me now. Or yeah, don't see me. Don't see me now. Like he's, you know, 
uh, enchanting her or trying to uh, bind her off of him from ex seeing him in this in this uh, manifestation. And um, I almost I always think of this. <laughs> When I'm like at the store or something and um, there's somebody who, yeah, maybe don't have a problem with them or anything, but uh, I don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't want to talk. I don't want to stand around and discuss anything. And I can't emphasize enough how it's not about them. It's about me. I just, I get such anxiety having to stand there and, and be in a public place like that talking, which is probably silly, but that's what it is and uh and i will i'll like scrunch myself up and and say please don't see me now don't see me don't don't notice me <laughs> keep going <laughs> um and so you know i kind of feel like this is the vibe right this person um messy this leo person messy and uh and i feel like you love them i think that you still love them but it seems like it's years ago and seeing them up close seeing what's going on with them seeing you know what their life is maybe like or at least what you perceive it to maybe be like um there's like that you no like now I remember instantly almost <laughs> why you are not in my life anymore. And um, yeah, and this real feeling of like shielding your, you know, whole existence aura. And, um, and yeah, I think definitely um, not a bad choice. Not a bad choice because I think this is like an instinctual like hide self. Hide, hide, hide. Um, don't look it. Don't look this way, please. Don't notice me. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. What are you doing? Did you get out of bed? Did you get out of bed, you little baby? You were so sleepy. I thought you were going to sleep. For like a while at least. So we have an airplane. And water. And it looks like a goat right here. Oh, and we have a ram right here. So, um... It feels like you're going on a journey here. I wonder if you are actually traveling, uh, maybe for work, maybe for family, maybe for pleasure. This maybe has to do with this kind of family debacle or whatever's happening. Um, maybe, hopefully, you all are kind of arguing over a family vacation, right? Maybe you're like close enough family that you go on some kind of group vacation or whatever. Um, and hopefully it's something like that, that everybody arguing about, you know, who, who's staying where, who's buying the groceries, who's doing the cooking, you know, all these things that you have to kind of worry about. And, um, and yeah, maybe there will be travel here, but I do feel like things, so, like I said, things are going to get sorted and, really, ultimately, you're going to make the best of whatever it is anyways. Um, I do see you by water, um, going to visit water, maybe going to the ocean, going to a lake, going to the river, uh, whatever it is, it feels like um, it is kind of a big, vast area. Um, and I have we have an eye right up here. Okay, you can see right there. Um, and so I feel like this is a place where uh, you will have the opportunity for some real introspection. Uh, and I think that this will really kind of open itself up to you quite naturally. Um, I feel like, you know, there is a quieting happening, um, although there will be fun and, and, and oh, I gotcha. I'm sorry, you were gonna fall backwards. Don't bite me. I was trying to save you. I was trying to save you, I promise. Okay. <laughs> um, 
it, there will be fun and laughter and, and everybody will settle out, I think. Um, oh, see, there you go again. You got to go. Don't I don't want you biting me. Thank you, Mama. I love you. Um, but I think there will also be a little bit of room here in this next period of time for you to really kind of engage with spirit. And um, it really, I feel like there's just a sense of like, all of this stress kind of coming off of your shoulder, like it just melting away, um, being in a very quiet moment and feeling very connected to the universe. And I almost feel like it's like you haven't felt that in a minute. It is just absolutely like coming home to something, um, you know, profound, uh, you know, coming into your little nest and feeling like I've been gone for so long and I forgot how comfortable this feels. And, um, and so, you know, please enjoy, let yourself feel it, let yourself be in it. Um, don't squander it <laughs> with, with too many distractions. Um, but yes, I think this is, this is most needed. Most needed indeed. All right. I'm going to hold it out. See, sometimes I miss something big. I can't tell you how often. Um, now we have a face here. The eyes, the nose. Kind of looks like the man on the moon. It reminds me of even that McDonald's character, if you remember that from the ancient times. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, kind of, yeah, beautiful kind of crescent moon it looks kind of fun um you know maybe you maybe you will be witnessing the eclipse that is coming but we're all affected i mean my goodness i can really feel it um but i think this is like a you know where most of us are feeling a little unhinged <laughs> well, i i am i'm raising my hand right now um i feel like you are in your zone uh, you know, I think this is affecting you in such a way where you're feeling pro like profoundly confident, um, going with the flow, enjoying yourself. And, um, and I feel like all of this is uh, great for that leadership role that you're kind of in with the people that you love, the people around you, um, just kind of, you know, it's amazing what a little confidence does. People just kind of, you know, will follow um your cues and uh and i definitely think that you have that kind of mastered in these kinds of situations now we have a two and a heart and we have another two down here okay and then we have a four let's see what is that 34 over here We didn't talk about the ram, did we? I don't think so. The goat and the ram. I want to talk about that really quick. Uh, the the ram, Aries, uh, the goat, Capricorn, but also as far as attributes go, just a real fortitude. Um, also playful, very playful. Um, so I feel like there is this this uh, duality that you have, but it's not really that. You like are fluid and flowing through uh, your different dispositions, and you're not afraid to do that. You can go from being really kind of stern and serious to laughing and joking and having a good old time um, while still making sure that everything is kind of going um, in the direction that you have really hoped for it to. And I'm sorry about the sounds back here. The cats <laughs> were, our house is like in disarray because I'm packing it. And, um, the cats are just exploring every box that they can, every wrapping paper thing that they can. Um, and, uh, so you're probably hearing it. You're probably hearing it. Okay, so we have a bunch of uh, 
Well, we have a nine, we have a P, and we have a P. And a nine. Well, let's, oh. Yeah, two, nine, three nines, nine, 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 and then P and P right here. So I feel like I almost feel like this is like a power number for you. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, you got my love. Come on. Come here. I know. It's torturous. You want to go to bed. I know it. I know it. It'll be soon, I promise. Um, so a power number, 999. If you have a... If you already have a relationship with that number, I feel like it's really amplified. Um, but if not, it feels like something that is going to be revealed. And now with the P and the P, I must feel like it's a name or a place, um, but something like that. And you, I think you know what it is as you're hearing it. Um, Yeah, I'm looking at this one. It reminds me of the, the solar disk, but it's squared, which is interesting. So I feel like there is this sense of real um, balance of elements in your life. Kind of everything. You're, you're really focused on everything. You're focused on your work, your home life, your, your love, relationships, and... Um, and the spiritual aspects, but also health and, um, and money and resources and, and all these kinds of things. And I feel like it's like, you just are really cruising through. Um, it's, it feels like with such ease, but it's not because you're working so hard. Um, but you just are in a place where there's like a good flow and, um, and so I think it's a, it's a really good time to, uh, if you're starting something big, right? If you have a dream to maybe like start a little business or a side hustle or project, or, you know, maybe you're a creative person and you're going to start some creative project or, um, maybe like something to like DIY home, um, you know, stuff you're going to renovate or, you know, whatever it is. Um, this is it. This is a good time for that. I think that you're just, you're fully there and you know what you want, you know what you're doing. Um, and you're putting in the work, right? So absolutely, uh, good fortune here. <laughs> it's a fortunate, fortunate place. All right, so we have the Indigo Sage Affirmation Cards, and this is the air element. And I have to hurry up because it looks like my camera is going to overheat here. Uh, okay, so we're going to flip through, stop where it feels right. It says, Miracles, Self Healer, Trust that Every unwanted condition can be returned to natural well-being yes but also please see a doctor i'm not i will i will never promote um you know not see you need to see a doctor as well or well i hope that you will i'm not going to tell you what you need to do um but yeah <laughs> there is there is the ability to self heal. I do believe that 100%. But I think that like all things we need to um make use of all avenues, right? Uh so yes, I like the card, but I also want to that little uh that little extra ad there for me. <laughs> uh so anyways, Sagittarius, I love you. I thank you for spending this time with me. It's always such an honor. If you would be so kind as to like the video, it really does help the channel so much. And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit that little bell. It'll let you know when the next readings are coming out. It is free to subscribe. And if you'd like to leave a comment, please do. I would love to hear from you. Um, 
and yeah, that's it. Okay. I love you. Happy eclipse. And I don't know. Will we talk before that? I don't think so. Maybe. Yes. No. I don't know. What day is it even? <laughs> I think it's on Monday. It's Friday now. This comes out on Saturday. So no, um, I probably won't talk to you before the eclipse. So please have a wonderful eclipse and um, yeah, and that's it, I guess. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. It's time for me to crawl into bed and go to sleep. <laughs> Good night.